welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss the concept of simulated annealing before going to discuss about simulated annealing why we are moving to this approach we already discussed the approach hill climbing what is the problem of hill climbing hill climbing is a greedy approach means at every step it only consider the neighbor which has the better improvement that means it may stuck at local optimum to avoid such a problem we are moving to the concept of simulated annealing so this is simulated annealing is a probabilistic approach of hill climbing what happened instead of always accepting the best moves the simulated annealing may sometimes accept the worst moves also if it accepts the worst moves it may escape from the local optimum you got the point that is the main concept concept of simulated annealing anyway what is the term before going artificial intelligence just i will give a basic introduction what is the term annealing the term annealing comes from metallurgy so generally annealing involves we are heating a metal and then cooling the metal generally the cooling is performed in two ways we are cooling the metal either slowly or cooling the metal fast <coughs> suppose if you are cooling the metal slowly the atoms enter into a low energy state suppose if you are cooling the metal fastly the structure may freezes or it may defective and it can enter into high energy state why we are discussing these two things low energy state and high energy state exactly the simulated annealing also applies in a similar fashion of metallurgy anyway in the algorithm i will discuss what happened if you are cooling slowly and you are cooling fastly coming to in artificial intelligence the solution states represents atomic configurations that is in which position the atom is there now here the cost cost or heuristic is energy now you got it so based on the energy levels we are estimating the cost now what is the searching process cooling that is if you are cooling fastly or if you are cooling slowly based on that the energy variation occurs based on that the cost may changes that means if you cooled too quickly if you are cooled too quickly the risk of freezing into local minimum if you are cooling too slowly maybe the algorithm runs most of the time but in the costly but it may avoid the local optimum anyway i will explain this one with the algorithm understand the algorithm carefully what is the algorithm start with some initial solution yes any random solution okay now initially i set one temperature assume the temperature is t now what is the procedure from this we are pick the neighbor we are picking the neighbor assume if the neighbor is the better one always we are accepting the neighbor a general scenario we are starting with one initial solution and one initial temperature and then we are identify the neighbor if the neighbor is the better one we always accept this is hill climbing also in this another one is suppose even some situations if the neighbor is the worst one even though the neighbor is the worst one we can accept not all the situations we can accept with some probability e power minus delta e by t so based on this value based on this value we can accept the neighbor also so based on this we can update the t value repeat the entire process now understand carefully understand first we are computing initially taking one solution and one temperature pick a random neighbor s dash now calculate the difference between the new solution and the old solution that is assumed as delta e if the delta e value is less than 0 means 
less than 0 means we are accepting the new solution. Suppose even though it is not less than 0, we are accepting in one situation. What is the situation? If S dash probability is this one. If S dash probability is this one, we are accepting the solution and then we are decrease the temperature according to the schedule. The process is repeated until we are identify the best solution. Now you got it. The entire algorithm is same except this one. Whatever we discussed in hill climbing, the same procedure except accepting the neighbors with the worst moves also. Now, we will move the regular example traveling salesperson problem. What is the example in this? Each state represents a tour of cities. Neighbor means swapping. Cost is total distance. It may stuck at one optimal tour. At high temperature, it accepts the worst to tour also and explores the new route. As T is equal to 0 means that is step by step, step by step, we are decreasing the T value. That means understand, decreasing the T value means we are cooling slowly. You are cooling slowly means we are analyzing carefully and you may get a near optimal tour. That is the traveling. In the same sense, a function, I am taking one function, assume this is x square. Assume this is x square, x value between. Now take, start x is equal to 7, f of x value. Suppose randomly I am taken, x is equal to 6, what is f of x value? 36. Compared to 14 and 36, the better value I am accepting. Suppose x is equal to 5, 25, lowest value is a better one. I am accepting. Suppose f of x is equal to 64, it is worst. If it is a hill climbing, we are not accepting. But depending the value of the t I am setting in the algorithm, we may accept. We may accept. You got it? That is the concept of simulated annulling. What is the advantages? It can escape from the local maximum. Simply, it is an extension of hill climbing effective in problems. These are the problems. In these problems, it means very effective. But the limitation is it mainly depends on the cooling schedule. Compared to greedy approach, it is a slow. It, there is no guarantee of global optimum. There is no guarantee of global optimum. Finally, applications. We are using different scheduling algorithms, traveling, circuit design, machine learning, robotics. In multiple number of applications, we are using this simulated. What is the final conclusion? Simulated annulling is an probabilistic optimization algorithm. The main inspiration is annulling in metallurgy. It allows the worst moves for escaping the local maximum. It is effective for global optimization problems. Clear? In the next session, we are moving to genetic algorithm. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.